Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the smallest Class A gas motorhome. This one is perfect for state and national parks. This is a 2022 Integra Coach Vision Model 27A. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this small Class A motorhome, custom ordered from the Dent family out of Colorado. Thanks so much with the option of full body paint. It looks beautiful. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going good. I want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Yes. Especially it, mine. Yes, and all influential men yes. who make impact on young communities. That's right, and, and you too, babe. Happy oh, Father's Oh, thank you, Day. thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, I, I have a question for Matt. Because yes. I thought the Vegas and the Access were the smallest Class A's. Yes, Andrea, thanks so much for asking. I thought you would never ask. So the Vegas and Access, those are technically not true Class A's. Those are crossovers. They are made on a Class C chassis designed like a Class A. This one's the smallest Class A because it's a true Class A, which is designed on an F53 chassis. What that means, it's, it's a, it sits up higher. You're gonna have more storage and bigger tires. And Andrea, I'm just super excited to show everybody. Let's begin. Model is Integra Coach Vision 27A. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 29 feet 11 inches. So it's truly under 30 feet, perfect for state and national parks. Right up here we have the biggest windshield in the industry, 120 inches, I love how it wraps around. I love the way Integra looks when it comes in. It has the nice jagged edges. This unit just came in, it's not even prepped yet so you can see the bugs right there. But what is very nice about this motorhome, standard is uh, not full body paint. This one was optioned with the full body paint. It looks absolutely beautiful. Coming on down the side here, we do have mirrors right here on the left side, right side. And there is cameras integrated into the mirrors. Because it's an Integra motorhome, it does have the easy drive, which is a computer balanced drive shaft, making this one of the better class A's to drive on the road today. And this does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. 350 horsepower and 468 pound feet of torque. Yeah. <laughs> I always say foot pounds, it's pound feet of torque. And then look at these tires, Andrea, they're the good years. I love those. 245-70R19.5. And we got the nice shiny rims right here. Now, this is considered an uh, Integra's entry-level motorhome. You got your Vision, Vision XL, and your emblem. I love how they still gave you um, frameless windows, and you're also getting slam latch doors. Love it. Now, this one is locked, but if we come down here, that's just a small piece of storage anyway. We got more storage there. Oh, wow. Pass through. Yes. And more storage right here. Again, this... For a motorhome this size, it has a ton of storage. And I love the slam latch doors, fiberglass slam latch doors. Right here, Andre, is your Insignia TV and sound system. Also, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that one's all the way out. Also, because this is an Integra motorhome, they do have the two year warranty, three year structural warranty. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice power awning. Good size and awning. Lights. And I like the pattern under there. Yeah, and it matches this full body paint, which it, is beautiful. It sure does. Right here, Andre, is your instant hot tankless water heater. Full body paint over everything. I love that. It just, like, full body paint. I wonder is, how much the option is of full body paint. It's ten dollars to $12,000. Wow. It's, it's completely not worth it when you look at a, um, 
when you look at the number side of it, but I mean, come on, look how nice it looks. It does look You know nice. what I'm saying? Right here, we got a little bit more storage action. Right there's your propane quick connect. Um, if you wanna have a grill on the outside. And then here, look at this, even more storage. Amazing. Very nice. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Right here, we have a hitch. 5,000 pound hitch, this motorhome can tow 5,000 pounds. Also, we do have a backup camera there to add to your left and right cameras. Also, we do have a one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt, hold on. Here we go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Check this out, not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. New for 2021 part two, they changed this to 50 amps now. So both AC units are the 13 fives. Right there, we do have a nice solar panel already on the roof. And right there's your Weingart 360 digital antenna. Okay, take your time. Here we go now. Oh my goodness, hold on. All right, last step. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof on Father's Day? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Smash it, y'all. Smash, smash it. it. Smash that. Cool. Finishing up with the driver's side. Look at this. Beautiful wet bay. Uh, outdoor shower, black tank flush, potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Um, right there is where you have your 50 amp power water filter system. Right here is where you fill up your fuel. Okay, gasoline. And then look at this. Interesting. Very nice, easy to access. Right there, black and gray tank dump station. Very nice. All right. Down here is your generator. It's a Cummins Onan 5500 generator. Right over here is the other side of that storage. And then here, Andrea, is your propane tank. And Andrea, we will have all the specs about it. Bing! Lengths, tank sizes, weight, specs. About this motorhome right there. Also down in the description below. And right there's your batteries on a Moride slide out tray. Oh, nice. And it does have auto leveling, of course. And we'll be able to see that inside. And so that front storage on that side that we couldn't see, it's about how much is right here. Okay. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks beautiful. Having a... <laughs> but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. I haven't seen a vision in a while, so I'm excited. New door handle from the last vision that we did. All right, and the cargo carrying capacity. 2,292 pounds. Nice. All right, guys. We are in. Slide is in, as you can see. Feels nice and cool in here, Matt. Yes, ma'am. Thank it's not you. even hot out, y'all. It's, it's just humid. humid. Yeah. Okay, look at this. As you can see, a little walkway, but yes. doable. 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 And as you can see, it's better through here. We've got the bathroom. And then the bed is on a slide. Yes. So as you can see, it folds. Yes. And Andrea, while the slide coming out, we just want to give a shout out to all of our subscribers and viewers. I mean, Andre, we haven't said it in a long time because we stopped, kind of stopped counting. But we, we We're at 135,000 subscribers. We, we thank all of you guys. You guys are just awesome and supportive and we love all of you. And it really has changed our lives. It like, has. Like literally, literally, it's crazy. And we couldn't have done it without we each and every one of you guys. you guys. And so please know, even though we're not able to always answer comments or we try our best on emails or i miss a lot of phone calls we do appreciate each and every one of you guys. and we love meeting you guys too yes, it's yes. always so much fun yep oh, heavy bed no the bed's um still in plastic yeah we might not be able to flip that oh we're gonna flip it on Drea. we're gonna flip it or my name isn't matt <laughs> Since it's Father's Day, I'm gonna use my dad's Leatherman. Everybody always asks, Aww. what is this? And uh, on my pouch, and this is my dad's Leatherman. Do you know why, Andrea? Because when you're at a dealership, 
you, you never need know. it. Yeah. You need a knife or I a think, screwdriver. I think you use that Leatherman so much. Yes. Even like when we're out and I, I need a tool or something. Just something. You have something on there that will work. You always need something. All right. There we go. Andrea, we're going to get started up front. Okay, now look with the slide open, you guys. Look how more spacious it is in here. All right. Cool. Up front here in the driver's area. Nice, the new 7.3 liter V8. Nice modern steering wheel. You're going to have all your controls right here. Cup holders, auto leveling, accent lighting. You have a shade for the Ooh. button up and down. Very, shade. very nice. You have your generator start and battery boost right here. Right here is going to be your camera. You're going to be able to see your left side, right side in reverse. More cup holders here because these seats do swivel. Yes, they do swivel and there is a pedestal table that goes here. Yes. Okay. Ooh, okay. It's, you know, I know I've been in here before, but it just feels so different with the dash. Yes, um, yes. Because you have, it's not like it's flat, like right. some other motorhomes. So you kind of got that um, stoop right here. Yep, yep. But I do like that I have a computer tray. Uh -huh. Awesome. For people that are always working on yes. the go. Yes. And you got a place for your cell phone, cup holder, electrical uh, outlet there. You yes, ma'am. I see we got some cabinets here. Show us. Show us some, Drea. All right. Nice white cabinetry with that stressed look. Yes. Well, it's the see farmhouse that? look. Yeah. Farmhouse interior. Very nice. Very nice. And we do have a bunk over the cab. Ooh. Which holds 750 pounds, right? Yes, ma'am. Look at that. You got it spot on. Here we go. Okay, so good Very size nice. bed. Good size. Yep, yep. Good and size. And I like the weight of 750 pounds. Oh, uh, Matt, I'm going to hit this cabinet right here above the door. Well, show us. Okay, and look, one thing I will say, I don't see a lot of times blinds on the window of the door. Right. So that's pretty cool. Yes, ma'am. And then over here is the dinette, okay? Andrea, 2022. Oh, let's see. Let's, let's see. It's time to check. Did uh, our favorite brand <laughs> listen to us? I hope so. Womp, womp. Womp, womp. So there is storage. No. But there's no struts. Come on, guys. What are they doing? There is seatbelts, though. Okay. We have power and cell phone right there. Cup holders on the table. It does drop down. Very nice balances with the slow rise shades. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I like the balances. And then look at this. We have that. Very nice. I love the light above the slide, too. Yeah. And then right here, Andre, this is the best part. We do have a window right there, but we also have a TV on a televator. You raise me up <laughs> so I can watch the oh TV. Insignia, very nice TV right there. And then what's real nice is it's in a really good position not directly across but pretty pretty good across you know oh yeah the, definitely the whole thing is when you're truly less than 30 feet you have to make do with some of the situations where this is still a really good situation and i really do have a good look on the tv i will say that some uh, other floor plans and other manufacturers that i've seen will just have the tv there like Stay in the sure. middle of the window right and right you can't even drop it and down. we have said you know we like it on the televator so yes yes great job this is a full pull out which is crazy nope oh it no wow it tricked me it did it did it is wow a knife. okay and then right up here we do have very nice storage above the dinette what the heck above the sofa that's really does that feel like it's tall taller yeah. than normal no not no. taller than normal but really good size it's a yeah. great size and you're and you're gonna need big storage like that yes. for a small class a well andrea do you know what time it is it's now time for the msrp <laughs> msrp on this motorhome here is one hundred sixty-four thousand 
$777, Andrea. That is MSRP. Again, if you don't get the full body paint, it's gonna be like eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 cheaper. I'm, I don't know exactly how much. But Andrea, the Dent fa family from is coming from Colorado to pick up this unit. And the reason why is because she did not, they, they did not pay anywhere close to MSRP. So if you want the same price as the Dent family and you wanna know why they're traveling all this way, Andrea, tell everybody how to get the best price in America. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. But the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy a motorhome or any motorhome, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV to fill out your Matt Cash form. Then somebody from my internet team is going to call you and get you the best price. Or you can bring your Matt Cash form into one of our 13 locations and they will still give you the best price in America. If you're not ready to buy, perfect. Don't click tab number one, please. That's what tab number two is for. All your questions about products and everything, that sends me and William, Sir William, an email <laughs> and we'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours to help answer questions you may have if you're not ready to make the purchasing decision. Or if you're not looking to buy at all, not a problem, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody buys today, tomorrow, next month, or next year, what's the one thing they'll always get? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay. Yay! Look at this kitchen. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here. Got a nice cabinet here with the shelf. Yes, ma'am. And a tower of power. Hey now, that's a nice tower of power yes, right there. Yes, it is. And we got a nice residential style sink. Wow, one single bowl, very nice. Very nice, I do see an extension here. Okay. Okay, and if you don't have enough counter space, look at this. Pop it up. Wow. Very nice. I okay, am, you don't need to lock it in. Yeah, I am very happy about that, you guys. They yeah. have a electrical outlet right here too. And we got a cabinet above here. Yes, ma'am. We got a microwave. Very big microwave. Cute backsplash. We got a Furion three burner propane cooktop. Okay, okay. Ooh, with the blue Ooh. lights Ooh. and an oven. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we got a drawer here. Another one here and one here. That's a good size. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then we got the two way propane and shore power refrigerator. Yep, I like how they continued the pattern on it instead of just making it a plain silver refrigerator. I normally don't don't care for the wood look, but you know what? This doesn't bother me. I think because it is white. Yes. And then we got the pantry. Here. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that's that. That's a great pantry. Amazing. Very nice. Now, I like this, Matt. Going into this area back here. What is it that you like? I like All that. The door. I like the pocket door. I like how it's a different color. It kind of makes it feel really separate. Not only that, it's like a double door, so it makes it very wide as well. Yeah, it's a, so it's you a don't wide feel entrance. like you're stuck in a box. Yes. Over here in the bedroom. Look at all this. this are we gonna go in the bathroom first? Yeah, we're gonna okay. do the bathroom, but the bedroom. I mean, look at I, it. I know. I, I I like it. Very excited. Okay. I love 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 this shower. Very nice shower. It is a 30 by 36 shower. And you know, I got height, I, I can do a full 360. To get this style of shower is unheard of oh, there's in a, a very head. small motorhome. Yep. I like that they gave you a handle right there too. Oh yeah. You notice that? And That's... you can adjust it and everything. Very, very nice. Cool. And then okay. right here. So we have the medicine cabinet right here. Yes, ma'am. I like that there is a, and we didn't mention the slow rise shades. Yes. I like that there's a window, cute little modern sink. We got this for sponges and another cabinet there. Very nice. Okay, look at how the toilet is. We're gonna have to see about this. It's gonna be interesting. You know we didn't turn the lights on in here. Oh. There we go, my. guys. Is that better? Andrea. What? Uh, I have it's, a big it's old plastic. On my face. Is it plastic toilet? Yeah. yeah. I don't understand why they did that. Integra. <laughs> Cody, what's going on? What the heck, Mr. 
Mr. Cody. A plastic toilet. What did they do? I don't know, but even even just that, do you have enough space? Even with me closing the I, door? I could make it work for sure. Man. Okay. I gotta look back to the last 27A to see if it was a I don't think any Integras had plastic toilets ever. I know. That's why I think I'm really uh just wow. shocked. But look wow. at that wardrobe. Wow. Very Look, big. adjustable shelves. Yes. We should have done the bathroom last. Yeah. The, that oh, kind I of, like oh, that wow. One. Look That's how huge pretty. that is. Yeah. That kind and of rained on my parade. You got six drawers there, guys. Very good. I mean, this is great. It's a storage machine. It's a storage machine. You got three windows right there. I like they that. They all open up for nice cross ventilation. Yeah, it is missing the headboard, huh? Yep. But I, I don't mind That's that. That's a big storage. Very big storage above on both sides. Is there power and USB on the side? If uh, there is a electrical outlet on the okay. bed, I don't Good. see a USB. But um, I do see the reading lamps, and we do have a. This is a queen size bed. Yes. And we don't have storage. Might be a king. I don't think, I it think is. it's a king. Is it really? Yeah. Are you sure? It looks like a king. Regardless, it's a really good size bed. Uh, we're gonna have to look at the specs on that. Well, Andrea. We forgot this, Matt. Oh. You cannot forget that. Well, show me. All right, so we got another place here. Very nice. This has so much storage. I well, this is good. About well, it. yeah, because if you if you have a guest or you have like kids, you could put their stuff in there for sleeping on the top bunk. For sure, for sure. So. Well, Very Andrea. Nice. That's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, this one's important. It's now time we're going to give everybody three things we love about the Vision and three things we don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we don't like about it. Okay. First and foremost, <laughs> I mean, I a know. plastic toilet. What the heck is that? Who goes from porcelain to plastic? Who says, hey, we're one of the number one selling motorhomes for 2021. Let's switch it to a plastic toilet. Now, I don't know, Andre, we're, we're gonna kick it back to, to the 2020 video to see if it was porcelain, but that's amazing and, and I, I hate that. And because I know in their class C's, they are all porcelain. That's number one. Wait, okay, okay, okay. We probably kicked it back. I think, I think in the vision they did use plastic toilets. Because I remember the 29S, I sold a couple of them, and everybody swapped them out to porcelain. Oh, it doesn't matter. You okay. guys probably just saw a clip. So still, I hate that they're using a plastic toilet, regardless. Andrea, that's number one. Especially with the CCC. Yeah. Number two? Um. Okay, number two. Dislike. Honestly, I, I don't know. I don't like the balances. Oh, you never like the balance. I don't like those for okay. sure. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll say I, that. I'm just surprised they didn't change them. Well, no, no. The, it, I actually, I actually think you're in the minority. No. I think a lot of people like the balances. I, I'm not in the minority when they it comes like to these. The, right. You guys, let me know. <laughs> but I think you are because the farmhouse look. I don't That's know. That's not the farmhouse look. This is the farm. This That's look. a southwestern look. It, it would be better for them to go with a solid color. But let's not take too much time on the Southwest, balances. Southwest Farmhouse. No, no. <laughs> so I don't like the balances. Okay. And um, I don't know. Other than that, it's going to be hard for me to pick. I mean, I think this is well designed. Yep, yep, absolutely. So that's going to be number two. And then I'm going to give you number three. So I'm going to combo it. I do not like that slippery slope down there. Oh, yeah. I just don't like, I just don't like it. It's not that big of a deal. But see, when we travel, our cat right likes to sit up the there dash. yep exactly yeah. while we're driving even though it's not super safe but even when we're camped I, uh, not when we're driving he likes to sit there and he look like, out the window exactly exactly also how there's no netting in this bunk over the cab it is very middle and like people could fall down there easy on that side great so that's three things we don't like about it andrea now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome i'm gonna go first okay as simple as it is as a TV, as a televator. You still get the good dinette, you can still have your window and you can have your TV. 
This is what I call having your cake and eating it too. Absolutely. Did we mention the Tower of Power? Yes, we did. Okay. Um, yes, having your cake and eating it too. I absolutely love that feature. You have the TV when you want it, and when you don't want it, it's not even there. So that's number one. Okay, I gotta say the storage in here and on the outside is incredible. Oh my God. Especially for it truly being under 30 feet. Andre, you're Amazing. stealing all my answers. I love it, I Amazing. love it. Amazing, They just did a really good job, especially with the bedroom. Like all the storage in there is just fabulous. The interior and exterior storage per square inch of this motorhome, truly coming in at 29 feet, 11 inches, just knocks it out of the park. So it looks like they're about to park an RV next to us. So- Are we going out? Well, I'm gonna get the awning in. So number three is gonna kind of be a combo with number two. But what I am gonna say, number three, I love the fact that even though this is uh, an entry level motorhome, you're still getting the fiberglass slam latch doors. Again, the amount of storage is absolutely insane. I also love how you're getting the frameless windows on a motorhome like this. And then to wrap it all up, I mean, this, the fact that you have the option for the full body paint is absolutely beautiful. Now come on down here, Andre. Now here's the reality. Most dealerships aren't going to have this with the optional full body paint just because of the price point. But the fact that it's an option, if you do want a small motor home at 29 feet, 11 inches, but still looks good, that's where this unit comes in. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this vision, please call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. But Andrea, the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of those three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a small class A motorhome like this, we are gonna put one of its competitors right here and one of the Vegas's in access is right there, just so you can see all of the small motorhomes under 30 feet. Andrea, is there anything you'd like to say? Yes! Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Integra does read the comments, you guys. So make sure you uh, feed, leave your feedback. Yes. Um, happy Father's Day to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope everybody is safe and well. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching and Andrea, we'll see you next time.